Trying to find the center is infuriating. If I actually manage to pull this off, I'm gonna be so impressed with myself. I'm kind of taking a little bit of a risk because I've never done it this way before and I don't know if I know what I'm doing. I guess trial and error? I don't know, I'm stressed out. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. You may find yourself wondering, whoa, why does all of a sudden the video quality look so good? That's because I'm talking to a $2,500 setup. Let me clarify, I didn't go drop $2,500 for YouTube. I already had this. I was a portrait photographer way before I started YouTubing. This is just something that was already in my house. Needless to say, it was a Christmas present because I have never had that much money. <laughs> anyway, none of that has anything to do with what we're doing here today. Today, we are talking about my summer bucket list. I saw another girl on YouTube do one of these and it looked and sounded so fun. And I'm not gonna lie, my past couple videos have been kind of depressing. <laughs> so I wanted to do something more fun, something more upbeat. I know this is kind of bland and boring right now. I'm gonna color it and make it all cutesy later. Anyway, that's enough of my yapping. Let's get into it. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 things on this list. The first thing on my summer bucket list is to make strawberry lemonade from scratch and not just from scratch i want to like go to the farmer's market and get the stuff and then bring it back home and make it i love strawberries and i love lemonade and i will fuck up some strawberry lemonade so i want to try making it myself it's going to be like way more expensive that way because it's going to be like stuff from the farmer's market but i don't care it sounds fun and it's an excuse for me to have people over <laughs> even though i'm like a hardcore introvert i still like having people over but not too often only sometimes. The second thing on my list is I want to have an all girls pool day. We just got the keys to our pool, our pool, the pool, at the place where I live. Even though I've lived here for like a year and a half, we just got the keys. And I was talking to one of my girlfriends and we were saying how much fun it would be to have like three or four of us all hang out by the pool with like some drinks or whatever, maybe with some strawberry lemonade. We were saying how fun that would be and I really want to do that, especially since I don't really go swimming that often. It's an excuse for me to have a cold drink next to the water. <laughs> the third thing on my list I've already done and I want to do it so many more times, it's eat ice cream on the beach. The last time I had ice cream on the beach I think was back in May. I was with some of my friends in San Diego, we were going to a concert, I'll put a picture somewhere around here, and it was really fun and we had a really good time. And so as we're walking along the little like boardwalk or whatever, there's this gelato place. And so I stop, I got a scoop of I think it was vanilla and cookies and cream in a cone because I love ice cream cones because I'm five and that was my breakfast. It was so great. I had so much fun. 10 out of 10 would do again. The fourth thing on my list is to go to an art museum. I specifically want to go to the Getty Villa. I've been once before and I had such a good time there. It was very, very quiet, very peaceful, not busy at all. And that's what I want. I want to go somewhere and look at some cool art and just not be bothered by a thousand people around me. The Getty Center was cool. I've been there a couple times. It's just a little people-y for my taste. It's beautiful. There's just, there's too many other humans there. The fifth thing on my list, and I've already done this, is to have a karaoke night. I actually only put it on this list because I knew I was gonna do it. It was my younger sister's birthday and we were doing blind karaoke at our older sister's house. And it was like the best time, 10 out of 10, would do again, probably will do again. Number six is to arrange a flower bouquet, preferably in like a little party setting. If you can't tell by now, I love having little parties. <laughs> I love having like three or four people over and doing a little activity and eating our little snacky snacks. One of my friends had sent me this TikTok of like these girls had glasses of wine and had gotten a bunch of flowers and were just sitting there making little flower bouquets and it looked so cute and like so much fun. And I wanna do that. Number seven is to get a new tattoo. Now. I have a tattoo appointment to get a tattoo in a couple weeks, but about a week and a half ago, I gave myself a tattoo. So I kind of went like a little bit ham sandwich. I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick this up. Apparently not at all, that is so blurry, but it's the only mask back there. I'll put a picture of it somewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I like tattoos, I'm a tattoo artist, sue me. I'm actually really excited about the one that I'm getting in a couple weeks. It's like a goat with these really big curly horns. I just. <clears throat> 
And it's going to go with the theme of this arm really well because on this forearm, it's blank. What kind of tattoo artist has blank forearms? I really need to fix that. But I want to get a raven skull right here and I'm going to put the goat with the curly horns like on the back here. Maybe I should just like book that raven skull one right now. I don't know. Oh Lord, here we go. So number eight is to get a new piercing. I feel like people don't believe me when I say this. I have both sides of my nose pierced, but I do not have a single piercing in either of my ears. Like I will get up close close and show you there is nothing there there's not even a hole where a piercing used to be to be completely fair i did try to get my earlobes pierced once but they just weren't healing and i ended up just taking them out but yeah how crazy is that two nose piercings and nothing in the ears so one of my goals this summer is to fix that because that feels wrong number nine is to change my hair color i think i might have said this in a couple of vlogs back i impulsively got a haircut and it was kind of like half impulsive because i'm having emotions and half like i need to just let this go in the literal sense because it was dead and it needed to get off of me but also in the metaphorical sense of like letting go of things that no longer serve me and then I decided I wanted to color it because like this all over one color is fine but I'm just I'm not really vibing with it anymore I don't want to do anything too crazy I just want to get like some caramel highlights I'm not going to accomplish this goal before the end of the summer but I do have the appointment made for October 1st so that I don't know half checked off I don't know number 10 is to visit visit some friends out of town. I'm hoping to see at least one or two friends while I'm in Southern California this week. Fingers crossed, maybe? I probably should tell them that I'm coming. How are we gonna hang out if they don't even know I'm there? I sometimes get lonely and like want the comfort of a friend, but so many of my friends live too far away to just casually hang out. Like you can't just call up your friend and be like, hey, do you wanna drive two and a half hours to go to the gas station with me? Like that's, all my friends are either pushing 30 or in their 30s. So none of us wanna do that. But since I'm gonna be out of town anyway, I would like to see them. But like I said, I gotta tell them that I'm coming. <laughs> number 11 is to try an Aperol spritz now I'm gonna be real with you I don't even know what an Aperol spritz is I saw another girl on YouTube order one and it looked like a fun little drink and now I want one that's literally it moving on to number 12 is I want to get a new plant I specifically want a new succulent somehow I have no idea how I am an underwaterer and all of my like leafy plants are thriving and all my succulents have died I do not understand how that works, but that is the pickle I'm currently in. And I like succulents, I think they're really cute, but somehow they've all died. There's this really nice plant nursery in town that I actually, I'll probably go with my friend because I told her I was going to take her. It's huge and it's beautiful and they have so many succulents. So I'm probably going to go get one that's like a baby and then raise it from like small. Number 13 is to visit a botanical garden. I'm probably also going to do this while I'm in Southern California this coming week. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. I'm so excited. Where I live, it has been upwards of 105 degrees for like nine days straight. And it's not going down. I'm so over it. The place that I'm going to visit, 80s. Which is the perfect weather to go visit a botanical garden. Like, it's warm, but not disgustingly. Plus, like, with this journey that I'm on, I feel like it would be good for me to just go and be in nature. I really want to go by myself. It's not, like, a social thing that I want to do. It's more for, like, me and my inner healing thing that I've got going on. Number 14. I think I've just been on Pinterest too much. I want to get a fancy dessert. I'll be on Pinterest and I'll see all these desserts that are just like so decadent and they're so pretty and I want one. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm gonna go to find that, but it, it, it's a work in progress. Number 15 is to host a dinner party. This is mostly because I have this friend that I haven't seen in a while and this friend has parties like all the time. So I want to switch it up and I want to have them come over here. Plus my love language is feeding people. Like I just really love to have people over and give them food. If that's not proof that I'm in my senora era, I don't know what is. Plus again, with like the healing journey I'm on, I just really want to be surrounded by good people and laughter and like good times. The more I think about it, there is a lot of motive behind that one. <laughs> Number 16, I 100% can say that I've done this start a vocab journal. I have absolutely done that. It's a little bit tedious, but I am really proud of myself for doing that. My internal validation has been struggling a little bit, but it has been so like rewarding and so validating learning something 
I'm like going out of my way to do something strictly for the purpose of knowledge. Number 17, I want to plan my trip to Philadelphia. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. I really want to go to Philadelphia. There is a museum out there. There's a medical history museum that I am absolutely itching to go to. Plus like back in the 19th century, Philadelphia was like the hotspot for like medical universities. And I love medical history. So I really want to go and see museums and stuff. Plus it's not that far a drive to the Smithsonian. So while I'm out there, might as well go. I don't plan on taking that trip this summer. I just want to plan that trip this summer. And number 18 is to go on a solo date night. Again, just part of like the healing journey and relearning to love myself and like be nice to myself. I don't really know where I want to go or what I want to do on that solo date night. Probably eat. I do like to eat. I'll have to plan out the logistics later, but I know for sure I want to go on a date night with just me, myself, and I. The three of us are going on a date. I've given myself July 9th to September 22nd to do everything on this list. Just because I started it on July 9th, it's September 22nd is the last day of summer. Or the first day of fall, I don't know. It's something like that, but who cares? It's time to color this in. <laughs> you enjoyed today's vlog i hope it gave you some ideas for your summer bucket list i hope you have a great rest of your day remember to be kind to yourself today and i'll see you later bye